Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemsgal and welcome to a Sims Free Play house tour. If you are part of the Facebook group Gunnar Jemsgal, then you will know that a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I put up a photo that I was working on a cottage. When we played the game, we were getting some notifications saying submit our homes, our cottage style homes. So I thought I'm going to try and build a cottage and I'm going to submit it to Sims Free Play. Because I want one of my houses to be the architect homes. And so I started building this house, like I say, a few weeks ago when the pop-ups came up. And I never got around to finishing it in time. I do that quite a lot with builds. And I kind of go through stages of really being into building in Sims 3 Play. And then just kind of not being bothered. And so at the moment I'm quite into building. So you might see a fair few Sims 3 Play house builds coming up on the channel at the moment. So this is my cottage style build and what it looks like from the town map, but let's go ahead and get right in to see what it looks like up close. Okay, here we go. Here is the cottage from the front. I really do quite like this build. I'm just going to give you a swirl around from all the angles so you can see it. There we go. I really like how it looks from the outside, to be honest. It's kind of supposed to have like a hedge all the way around and then you know like... I googled like pictures of like English style country cottages and quite a lot of them had this kind of walk through so I figured I would use the wedding arbor it just doesn't maybe kind of fit with the style but I wanted that whole thing like a, a walk through into the house so that's what I went for it is a two-story house and it is just a one bedroom I think it's a one bedroom anyway I have completely forgotten yes it is a one bedroom yes <laughs> so as you go through the little wedding arbor or the little country walk through I have used some of these one mat I really quite like them on the floor kind of like as stepping stony type things and little bits of patio just around and about the place sort of to create kind of like a path like as you can see it goes around the side kind of like a little path to the back garden and I've just put lots of flowers and plants around to make it look like you know it's just a nice style little country cottage in fact I'll just go around kind of the outside first of all I think so you go around the back I've just put like little daisies because I figured that just kind of fits with the whole thing a little tree and then in the back garden there's just a little bench to sit down on I was going to put the pigeon one there you know from the bird feeding hobby but then I thought no I don't want that I should have maybe put like a is there an outside no there isn't like an outside bird table or anything like that is there I don't think anyway Hmm. Yeah, so you're continuing on, there's just some more little pat flower patches around and then a little vegetable patch where the person who lives here can, I thought, figured like it's a little country garden, they're going to have like a little allotment maybe down at the bottom of their garden. So that is the outside. So let's go back round to the front. So first floor has a nice little patio. Let me just put the upstairs balcony on just so you can see how that looks with the upstairs on. I've put the supports on. I think it looks really nice, this little bal not balcony patio down at the bottom. And as you can see, I've got um, the resident is fast asleep on the swing there, the romantic swing. I think it looks cute. It's nice. And they've grown some sunflowers as well at the front door. Let's go ahead and get inside. So when you first enter, there is just a little entrance way here with some drawers and things and a little place to sit. Nice plant. And then through here is... This is where the stairs are. There's just a little corridor that connects all the rooms with a grandfather clock there at the back. So we'll go through, I think we'll go into the kitchen first of all. So we'll go through into the kitchen. And I used the cottage kitchen. I don't know whether it was the best to use, but I just I wasn't feeling any of the others, to be honest. So I just went with this. It's a bit sort of too rustic -y for what I wanted. It's more kind of like wizard's cottage, isn't it? It's not kind of cottage cottage do you know what I mean I don't know whether that makes any sense but yeah anyway I went with that um I do like the sink though and the corner units actually the corner units are really quite nice and I decided not to put an oven in and just to put like this toaster oven thing whatever it's called I don't know it's not a, it's not called a microwave in this is it we've got a nice little kitchen table and chairs here now I know you can't access this last chair here right in the corner but never mind it doesn't matter three people can sit down and have some English tea and then through from the kitchen you can go through here into the lounge area you can also access the lounge area from this corridor out here in fact whilst we're out on this corridor I will just quickly show you that there is a downstairs bathroom here which I think is quite nice just quite nice and simple I've put um 
a little plant in the corner. I do like putting just plants in the corners of things quite often. It's just, I don't know, it just brightens the place up a little bit, doesn't it? But then let's go back into the lounge. Like I said, there's two access points into the lounge area. And let's look at it from this way, actually. Might be the best, the best view of it. And there's just some books on the table, a little plant. And um, we've got one of those retro TVs. I love that TV. And a little record player in the corner. I figured that looked quite cute. I like it. And as you can see, you've got a door that takes you outside onto the patio, into the back garden. Let's go ahead and go up the stairs. So the stairs out here go up. And they take you onto just this long corridor here. There is a balcony on the front of the house, but you can't actually access the balcony. I was gonna originally going to put like a little doorway here. But then I decided I wanted to put a bookshelf instead. So a little like reading nook. So I mean I suppose I could have changed that and added a door. But I could have had the... Could I? No I was going to say I could have had the reading nook over here. But I couldn't. No I, I just wanted a little reading nook in this house. So I figured hey I'm not going to be able to access the balcony instead. I could alter that at some point in the future. But for now I quite like it. Right by the kind of reading nook. There's just like a little storage cupboard here. Just because I felt like I didn't really want any more than one bedroom in this house. I felt like the bedroom was big enough as it is and so I just kind of wanted to close that space off and I didn't know what else to do with it so I thought, I know, storage room. So it's good if you've got a little bit of space, a good tip, if you've got a little bit of space that you don't know what to do with, just add a little storage room, stick a water heater thing in, couple of uh, storage boxes, suitcase, things like that, looks good. I think so anyway. <laughs> so we have got just this one bedroom as you can see which is fairly simply decorated and there is a little walk-in wardrobe there and then there's also a bathroom that which you access from the main corridor here which is nice and bright nice and blue and green and yeah very bright let's go ahead and add the roof and that guys is the cottage I hope you like it I'm gutted that I didn't finish it in time to be able to submit because I think that's a quite a nice house let me know if that was an architect home would you have liked to have had that in your town Please be kind. Don't be really nice, nasty in the comments. If you wouldn't, if you don't like it, fair enough. If you don't like it, but just just be kind about it. <laughs> there you go, guys. That is my little cottage. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you've got suggestions for any other types of builds that you'd like to see, like I said, I am quite into building at the moment in Sim Free Play. So let me know any other styles that you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.